Washington Republican lawmakers on Friday secured enough votes to pass the most sweeping tax overhaul in decades, putting them on the cusp of their first significant legislative victory as party leaders geared up to pass a $1.5 trillion tax cut along party lines and send it to President Trump by Christmas. A day after the bill's fate seemed somewhat in doubt, Republican leaders notched two wins on Friday, when Senator Marco Rubio of Florida said he would vote yes after winning a more generous child tax credit in the final bill and Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, who voted against the initial Senate bill over deficit concerns, said he would support the legislation despite the cost of the tax cuts. On Friday, as Republicans released details about the final bill, it became clear that the agreement would provide deep and long-standing tax cuts for businesses, while providing slightly more generous tax breaks to low- and middle-income Americans by reducing some benefits for higher earners. With the finish line to their first legislative victory in sight, Republican negotiators agreed to provide a more generous child tax credit in the final bill to shore up support from Mr. Rubio, who said he would not vote for the legislation unless it provided more help to lower-income Americans. A spokeswoman for Mr. Rubio said the senator will vote yes on the legislation, given the changes that were made. The final bill will allow families who owe no federal income taxes to still claim up to $1,400 of the $2,000 child tax credit, up from $1,100 in the original version. In a tweet on Friday, Mr. Rubio called it a solid step and suggested he would now vote for the bill. The move to satisfy Mr. Rubio appears to have been financed, at least in part, by reducing the ability of higher earners to take the $2,000 per child tax credit. The Senate bill lowers the income cap for families who could claim the credit by phasing out the benefits of the credit once families earn $400,000 a year, down from the $500,000 in the original Senate bill. Mr. Corker, a longtime deficit hawk, said he was swayed to support the bill as the result of many conversations over the past several days with individuals from both sides of the aisle across Tennessee and around the country. Mr. Corker said the bill is far from perfect, and left to my own accord, we would have reached bipartisan consensus on legislation that avoided any chance of adding to the deficit and far less would have been done on the individual side with items that do not generate economic growth. New details from the text, shared with the New York Times on Friday, reveal that lawmakers offset other last-minute changes to the bill such as eliminating the corporate alternative minimum tax and lowering the top individual tax rate to 37% from 39.6% today through slight adjustments, not sweeping changes. And it was still unclear how they were going to pay for the entire package which can add no more than $1.5 trillion to the deficit if it is to pass without Democrat support. The bill's text, which was signed by Republican negotiators from the Chamber's Conference Committee on Friday, includes few major changes from the version that passed the Senate earlier this month.